Okay, well, it's good to see you. We're at Holy Trinity uh, Catholic Elementary School, and we have a bunch of students that have some questions that they would like to ask the bishop. So, since the bishop is here with you, here we go. All right, you want to start? Sure. When you were young, why did you decide to become a priest? So when I was young, I had a, you know, a, a real sense of uh, God calling me to do something uh, special, and I had some uh, very, very good parents that taught me how to pray and took me to Mass, and then I used to serve Mass, so I got to know the priests and the sisters in the parish, and I got to see them doing their work and was attracted to what they would do for people. And so I entered the seminary uh, with the hope of being able to serve people and to also eventually uh, share my love of Jesus Christ with everyone. And so uh, that's actually what happened. But thank you. Yes, ma'am. Um, can you please tell me your favorite prayer? And can I pray it? So, um, I actually have a couple of favorite prayers. Uh, so the Our Father is one, and we prayed that together. Uh, the Hail Mary is one, we prayed that together. Uh, the Glory Be is another one, uh, which I consider very special. Uh, and then there's a prayer by uh, St. Ignatius of Loyola that uh, is basically a prayer in which we offer ourselves to God and everything that God has granted us we give to God, and we ask God to just simply give us His love. So that's a quick summary of, of the prayers. So, okay. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Why did you want to become a bishop? Well, I actually didn't know I was going to become a bishop. Um, I got a phone call uh, almost six years ago uh, inviting me to be the fourth bishop of the Diocese of Biloxi. And... Uh, after a bit of a conversation, uh, I said yes to that, and that was a request from our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and he asked me to be the bishop here, uh, and it was a surprise, actually. Uh, so it's been good to be, be with uh, the people of the Diocese of Biloxi these last almost six years now. It's been wonderful, and to be with you, to be able to come and visit you at your school, so wonderful. Yes, sir. Who influenced you to become a bishop? Well, uh, you know, throughout the years, uh, of course, my parents were very important. Um, then I had a number of school teachers, just like you've got some school teachers that are special to you. Uh, some both religious sisters and priests. Um, and then over the years, uh, you know, people that have been supportive and loving, so some of the families I know and am close to, uh, all of which uh, kind of came together with uh, the request to become a bishop uh, and, uh, and saying yes to God to be able to serve the church as a bishop. So thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. How did you know God wanted you to be a bishop? So part of it is, is uh, being open to those special holy moments we were talking about today in each of your classes as we gathered. Uh, and to be a person of prayer, meaning to be in conversation with God, to be able to both speak to God but also listen to God. That's what prayer really is. And so that's actually what happened over time. I had a sense that God was inviting me to be a priest and eventually God inviting me to be uh, a bishop and throw both prayer, reading the Word of God, so the Bible, and also celebrating the sacraments of the church, especially the Mass. All of that helped to, to call me into being a priest and a bishop. So thank you. Yes, sir. Is the Bible made out of God's image? So the Bible describes God's image to us. Uh, and the Bible is, we believe, God's sacred word to us, God speaking to us and letting us know about his work with his people, that's us, but also his work through his son, Jesus Christ. And Jesus 
loving us as an expression of God's love for us. So in the end, the whole Bible is God's love letter to us. God saying, I love you. So thank you. Yes, ma'am. What was your favorite part about being a bishop? Uh, one of the favorite things is to be able to come visit you. Yeah, that's been fun to be able to visit you and be with your kid, each of the children and youth of our diocese. Also being able to celebrate Mass with you has been really special. And y'all were wonderful at Mass this morning. Y'all did great. You were singing big time. It was good. Very good. So do we have a second question? Yes, ma'am. Um, can you please describe one of the experience of feeling God's presence? So actually this morning was one of them. So when we said the prayer of consecration over the bread and the wine, uh, it was a very special moment to uh, have Jesus in my hands and to be able to give Jesus to you in his body and his blood and also to pray over you and say God's love be with you. So those were that was one special moment this morning. So second question, anybody else? Yes ma'am. Um, how do you see God? How do you see God? It's about being open to God in our lives. It's like we were talking about it, the holy moments. God gives us invitations to see him and to experience him in a lot of different ways through the day. So this morning with your parents or grandparents or guardians, that can be a God moment. This morning when you came into the classroom and those of you that said I love you to the teacher, that can be a God moment too. And the teacher usually says back to you also, I love you. So there's a lot of moments when God shows God to us. God shows himself to us. And God loves us and shares that love with us. Okay, you got a second question? Yes, sir. How did you become a bishop? So uh, in the church today, uh, a bishop is usually a priest and a priest that served uh, the church in a number of special ways and that person can get nominated to be a bishop uh, and eventually goes to the Holy Father and the Holy Father makes the decision on who will be the bishop of each diocese in the world. Uh, and so he invited me to be the bishop here uh, through that phone call that I got from his representative. So wonderful. Second question, yes ma'am. What school did you go to? So I went to St. Andrew's School in uh, Algiers in New Orleans uh, initially, and that's where I made my first communion. And then we were transferred to Corpus Christi, Texas, and I made my confirmation there. Uh, and then I entered the seminary there and continued to study. So I went to the Corpus Christi Minor Seminary, and then I went into college, and I went to uh, St. Mary's Seminary in Houston, and the University of St. Thomas, and that's where I got all my degrees from, from there. So, great question. So it was a Catholic school, just like you're in now. Yay. Yes, sir. What are your thoughts on other people being the bishop? Uh, would it encourage them to pray and continue to serve the church uh, and uh, uh, continue to be as faithful they, as they can to Jesus Christ and to be in love with Jesus Christ and to share that love with everybody they meet. Everybody they meet. So great question. So I think that's going to get us for our questions today. She's got one more. Okay. There was a time when I, you know, thought the Lord might call me to be a bishop. Then I just simply laid that aside and just said, okay, Lord, uh, I think uh, what I'm doing now is wonderful. And I like doing what I'm doing. So whatever your will is, but I'm happy being a pastor at a parish. And then I got the phone call. Yeah. As soon as you do that, and God stepped in and said, um, I'd like you to be the fourth bishop of uh, Biloxi. Would you accept? And so I said, yes. So thank you. Very good group. So let me give you a blessing, and then we're going to take a photo together, all right? So the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
All right. Good to see you.